So a couple of more things um, we can look at. Um, the first thing is there's different tooling available for Git, although typically the most common way of working with Git is the command line. There are other tools available. And somewhere here, I have a list of them. So we looked at Git K, that was the repository visualization tool. Git also comes with a GUI tool that basically provides all the functionality, or the simple functionality rather, that you can do from the command line. You can see here these are the working directory and the, the staging area. So if we actually make a change, you can see that these are the unstaged changes. Clicking on it stages the change. We can type a commit message in here and press commit and that would commit the change as well. So there is a sort of rudimentary GUI available that comes with Git. There's also Tortoise Git. If you're familiar with Subversion, then there's the Tortoise SVN Explorer integration. Uh, Tortoise Git is a similar tool. Uh, I haven't used it for a couple of years, but uh, I believe it's pretty stable these days. If you want Visual Studio integration with Git, then there's the Git Extensions project, which provides uh, integration inside Visual Studio. And another um, Visual Studio integration point is the Git SCC, which provides less uh, utilities inside Visual Studio mainly just shows the status of different files. Finally there's PoshGit, this is an open source project that I work on as well as some other contributors which provides uh, integration with PowerShell with Git and this is uh, what I've been using today which shows information on my command line like uh, which branch I'm on, how many outstanding files there are, things like that and uh, if I commit a file shows me information like the branch turns red when I have commits locally that haven't been pushed up yet. Uh, it also provides tab expansion so I can tab through the various git commands um, and provides completion on the command line so if I press uh, git add and then hit tab it works out what, uh, what files there are to add. Likewise if I have multiple branches then I could type git checkout and then tab and it would cycle through those branches there. So just a couple of things if you want to use git with the PowerShell command line uh, can make it a bit more useful. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to go through today. Oh one other thing actually, uh, hosting. Uh, if, you're, if you want to host your git repositories uh, externally then github provides both public hosting for open source projects for free as well as paid hosting for private projects. There are other third-party hosting providers, but GitHub is generally the main one. That's uh, github.com. If you want to host Git yourself, there are a variety of options for doing that. The simplest one I showed today was you just put the repository on a, uh, a network share. If you have a Unix server or a Linux server, then typically uh, SSH is the way forward. Uh, if you're running a Windows, then you can host Git under a web server, either uh, Apache, this is the most stable way of doing it, or under IIS. I've written um, uh, an extension for IIS that allows you to host Git under IIS as well. And you can find details at my blog jeremyskinner.co.uk uh, and that's everything.